Hello everyone, we are Team Ego and our product is called the Wishing Tree. Uh, imagine, uh, imagine, I am, uh, imagine a young, young woman like me who came to New York to study and work from other parts of the, of the US and or other countries. Um, I may have many friends online on my contact list, but, I, uh, but actually, in fact, I do not have many real connections or interactions with most, most of them. And uh, I spend most of my time alone on my settled daily routine, like go to, go to work, go to school, um, go to college, go shopping, and so on, without knowing actually uh, who I can hang out with for a movie or a dinner or um, uh, uh, some outdoor activities uh, to, to hang out with. So, um, so therefore, we came up with this idea of a wishing tree. Uh, we, we, we are going to provide our users a platform where they can, uh, share, we can, they, they can make, share, and spread their, their wishes with their, among their friends and um, let, the, let, let their friends help them realize the wishes. Uh, like uh, this, uh, this our main function, the wishes can be a, a, an activity like inviting someone to a food festival in New York or an, uh, or an object like uh, borrowing book the effectual entrepreneurs for, for final exam and or um, it, it can be shared to a public like organizing an event or, sh or just sent to someone specific like a private ones. So uh, this is our main function. We can, we can use the product sending and exchange change the gift, inviting friends for activities and events, organizing activities and making wish list for birthday, wedding, baby shower and so on. And before we get into our implementation part, let's watch a short movie uh, uh, and have a reasonable idea of our product. <laughs> This is that our product will increase the people's happiness and connect people online and offline. We come to find who are our customers, and uh, we made the prototype to test it. So as we assumed, our uh, assumed customers would be those of 18 to 35 years old. Most of them are students who are currently live in the city, and they have regular habits on social networking. Uh, media and they would like to post and share our yet and also have such kind of social needs. But how about the truth? We made 32 in depth interviews in New York, uh, in the parks, in subways, residential area, and we try to find, understand them better in demographics and their real life situation and also their specific persona and, about the, and also about their problems and needs. So here is what we found. We found that uh, comparing to males, females are more willing to share uh, <coughs> on social networking and they would like to post and share. And uh, for males, they are more happy to help uh, females to achieve their wishes. And they are also <laughs> to, yeah, and also to some groups. When we can say there are some introvert or passive guys, but they're happy to invite them to activities and they want to change their body life and to explore their relationship. And as group should be say, we can say uh, they are extrovert, open activists, uh, but uh, they usually organize activities, but they prefer such kind of safe way to communicate online. And there are also some co-family members who are activists. Uh, as our product would be an app, so we made a demo on marvel.com and we both made online and offline try of our APP demo. Uh, totally 136 people, including online and offline, joined our uh, test. Uh, sorry. Yeah. And here is the uh, uh, online channels. We use WeChat and Google Form and post on Facebook. And we also talk to people directly to listen to their feedbacks. And here are some comments from them, like, 
uh, I think most positive and negative included. And some like the first one, it just said that uh, it's cool. I hate such kind of toxic online uh, social networking, and people need to have offline activities between friends. I will use it. But there are also some uh, maybe not so likely to use us. And there is the one guy said that I will not use it. I will feel maybe a little embarrassed if I post my wishes on it, but no one come to accomplish it. And I would prefer maybe message directly to people. So I think this gave us some feedbacks how to improve it. We maybe need to get some function of spontaneous stream messages and also maybe let people to understand better about our privacy use. Okay, uh, for the market validation, our uh, team member, let me explain to you. Yes, uh, uh, now we will validate our markets. About our markets, uh, just now we showed that more of the female, they love sharing their wishes. Like I want a lipstick and I want my boyfriend to complete it for me like this. And uh, more of the age, they, they are focused uh, around the 22 to 35. And uh, the man marriage, 80% uh, of them are single. And about their interviewee jobs, we, we conclude many jobs and not only students. We want to know the market deeply. About their uh, customers' SNS behavior, which is very important. That uh, more than 70% of people, they will browse their uh, app more than, more than 10 times uh, one day and they will post their, uh, their status on their platform like more than uh, once per week. Uh, the percent is about uh, 67. About this is about out of 10 people, there will be 9 people, they would click like or, sh or, or comment on others' status. And about posting wishes on any SNS platforms, about 80% of people, they would like to post their wishes on social networks. And about the, uh, when, you, when you save gifts or, or uh, like kind, kindness from others, uh, we, almost every one of us would uh, express our appreciation to the people who help us. Uh, so, or come to wishing chip about the market ac uh, acceptance. Only only certain thirty percent of people they may not uh, interest. So others other seventy percent they would like to use wishing chip to post their wishes. And uh, uh, more than more than ninety percent of people they would help others to complete it. And so about the uh, the able to pay like. 80% of people they would like or likely to pay and uh, the amount is about one to twenty uh, dollars per month they, they are willing to afford. So finally I will conclude why choose within within Chi? Uh, because among our platform uh, you could make a wish which is very diverse and we would offer you freedom. If uh, if it's legal you could make a wish. And uh, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, we could uh, make uh, more offline interactions by wishing Chi. And it's not only a SMS app, it's more like a game. When you make a wish, your online wishing Chi will grow up. So like there will be a competition. And uh, why you start to uh, use it? Because uh, like I invite Josie and Josie invites and like this, uh, your friends invite you, so you would uh, like to try. And when your friends, like more and more people join in, you would uh, like to follow this trend. So you start and you, you find it's uh, very convenient and useful. When you need a wedding wish list or send a birthday gift, it's very easy to use our app to post it. And we would also like to offer official help. When, uh, when it's Thanksgiving week, we would use our platform uh, energy to help the poor. And you can also find it's very meaningful. You could do charity and help others, which is very uh, convenient. So this is Wishing Chip. Thank you.